Hi, it's Rebecca. Welcome back to Reach for Healing. Tonight, I want to share the story of a technique and a cat, a technique for finding lost things. This is a technique that is taught, or at least it used to be taught in many metaphysical churches and centers, and it's called the golden thread. The golden thread is used to help us find something that is lost. And I've heard people share stories of finding $10,000 that they had misplaced in their home, a car that had um, rolled away from a house, and many other things. I was intrigued by it, but I never really had an occasion to use it. And then my grandchildren's family cat wandered away. They had just moved across the county uh, to a new home, and their cat would sometimes go outside, but he always came back shortly thereafter. And this particular time after they moved to their new home, he went out and he didn't come back. And he didn't come back for a couple days, and then it was a couple weeks. And they were getting increasingly frantic. Now he did have a microchip, and he does have all of his claws, but no matter, they put food out, they put you know clothing out so he would smell it, they would call him, they drove around the neighborhood. I was even driving around their old neighborhood calling Piggy, Piggy, you know, hoping that perhaps maybe he had wandered back and um, was wandering around the old neighborhood. But several weeks went by and there was no Figgy. My daughter was starting to think about easing her children into accepting the fact that Figgy was not going to come home. And my grandson was very upset. Figgy used to sleep with them at night, and he missed Figgy very much, to the point that he drew a picture of Figgy and put it up over his bed and told his parents that if he couldn't have Figgy, he at least needed a picture to remember him. It was, it was heartbreaking. So I had heard about this technique, the golden thread, and I thought, I, you know, at this point, Figgy's not showing up in any of the shelters. Um, he's not coming home. What do I have to lose? I might as well try this technique. The golden thread technique starts out with a spiritual mind treatment or an affirmative prayer. And in spiritual mind treatment or prayer therapy, as Joseph, Cam or, uh, Joseph Murphy called it, you basically affirm the circumstance or situation that you want as you want it to be. You don't ask for help. You state what you want the end result to be. Neville Goddard would say, um, assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So in an affirmative prayer, you would be, you would express gratitude that in this case, I would, I express gratitude that Figgy was found safe and sound and was happily living back with my grandchildren and their family. And so I did this uh, metaphysical affirmative prayer for Figgy, knowing that he was safe and sound and back home with his family. And then I envisioned taking a very thin golden, almost like sewing thread and looping it around Figgy like a harness. You ever see those cat harnesses that people put on their cats? My mother always put a harness on her cat so he could be outside but wouldn't run away. So you, you just envision taking this thin golden thread and I just envision making a harness around Figgy. And then in my mind, I would simply tug on that golden thread that's wrapped around Figgy. I would tug on it. And so I did my affirmative prayer. I wrapped in my mind's eye, I wrapped the golden thread around Figgy and I tugged on it, kind of nudging him back toward us. And then every time after that, when I would think about Figgy, I would just in my mind's eye, imagine tugging on that golden thread that was still, you know, loosely tied around him like a harness. And that went on for about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks. And I didn't tell anyone in my family I was doing this. I just kept holding on to the knowing that Figgy was okay and that he was already back home. And each time I thought about him, if, you know, if, if a thought came to me in the middle of the day, I would just stop and think about, you know, I would just tug and I'd say, come on home, Figgy. And just really kind of feel, kind of have that experiential feeling with uh, the golden thread. So I wouldn't just, you know, kind of haphazardly, but I would really feel what it would feel like to have, you know, a thread on Figgy and, you know, feel the resistance and just nudge that, nudge that uh, a little bit in my direction as I thought about Figgy. So as I will say on this channel, I've said a few times, 
nothing happened right away. But I kept it up. I just kept knowing that Figgy was safe and sound and back with my daughter's family. One weekend, my daughter and her family went out of state to visit family and my parents went out of state uh, to visit other family and my son went out of state. So everybody in my family was gone. And I got a call from my daughter the next day, the day after they left, and she said, you're not gonna believe this. I just got a call on my cell phone from Animal Control several neighborhoods away. They have Figgy in Stray Animal Jail and there'll be somebody down there for the next hour and you can go pick him up. So I was the only, only person in our family that was in town at that time. And I found that so very fitting because I was the one that had done the, the spiritual work to know that Figgy was safe and sound and back home. So I went down to get Figgy and he was very happy to see me. I'm, I'm at their house a lot, so Figgy knew who I was. And I went down to fetch Figgy. He was very forlorn in um, kitty cat jail, as it were. And the humane officer was happy to reunite this cat with its family. And so I put Figgy into a cat carrier and I took him back home and fed him a feast of expensive wet food and brushed his fur and um, gave him a lot of TLC. Needless to say, my grandson and my granddaughter were very happy that Figgy was home. He was really uh, closest to my grandson, so he was very happy to hear that Figgy was back home and waiting for them when they returned from their vacation. And I was just so pleased to have been able to be a part of it and to be able to know the truth about Figgy at a time when many people would have said, you might as well give up on Figgy. You know, a cat in the city that's missing for five to six weeks, the likelihood of them coming back on the, on the everyday probability scale is probably not very high. But I refuse to go down that path. I refuse to acknowledge that that was a possibility. And I held on to the knowing that Figgy was safe and sound and back with his family. And that knowing in combination with the golden thread technique where each time I thought about him, I just kind of nudged a little bit to nudge him and pull him closer to us, I believe helped to bring Figgy back to my grandchildren, back to his home. Figgy's still around. Um, I see him every time I visit my grandchildren and he still remembers who I am and always gives me a purr and a kitty cat nudge, you know how cats do with their head. I'm gonna share a quick picture of Figgy here. This is Figgy, one Christmas under the tree. So Figgy the cat came home after being gone for almost six weeks. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that he's home because we were able to employ metaphysical spiritual tools, and especially the golden thread technique. I've written about this on my blog, and there's a button you can push to go right to my blog. It's at practitionerspath.wordpress.com, and the title of the blog post is Here, Kitty, Kitty. And I wrote about Figgy and his return, and there's a picture of him when I found him in kitty cat jail before I brought him home. These metaphysical spiritual tools do help solve problems that we encounter in our lives. And I just feel a passion to share them with people who are stumbling through life, wondering how to fix some of the things that show up. And so the golden thread is one of those techniques. And I hope that you'll have an opportunity to use it to find something precious like Figgy in your life. So I hope you'll subscribe to this channel and like this video and stop back next time for another metaphysical lesson. And until then, have a great weekend.